He estimates 48 million people get sick every year in the United States from foodborne pathogens. Oh, health reporter Haley Hernandez is here to explain when to know you have it and what to do about yeah. it. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, morning, guys. So food poisoning is the broad term that we use every time we have stomach issues, and the severity can range. But as you mentioned, this can be deadly, especially for the chronically ill and pregnant women. Undercooked meat, seafood, and starches may all be to blame, or maybe a food handler didn't properly wash their hands. If you feel suddenly sick, it's probably food poisoning. It's easily identified when it's quick, but some gastrointestinal illnesses may also take days to set in. So you may never know if it's from this or that. Particularly if it's a pretty warm environment, uh, uh, can be vulnerable to bugs that could cause this. That means thawing meat from the freezer is not safe. Instead, put it in the refrigerator to dethaw. In fact, nothing, no matter how harmless, should stay at room temperature for more than two hours. That includes late night pizza. It's not a guarantee you'll fall ill, but Dr. Ned Snyder with Kelsey Siebold said the risk certainly goes up if you're eating leftovers that never made it to the fridge. And no, you won't be able to detect disease with a sniff. I think if it smells, I would be less likely to eat it, but probably most of the time when we get sick, it smells fine. If you do get sick, you can treat from home, according to Dr. Snyder. Just take liquids. If you have a lot of diarrhea, uh, things you can get over the counter like Pepto-Bismol and Loperamide and Imodium uh, can be useful. So once your temperature climbs higher than 100.4 degrees, that's when it signals that you could have an infection or something more harmful. You got to get to a doctor. This is nothing to take lightly since every year 128,000 people are hospital, 3,000 people die from foodborne diseases. Yeah. So you it really is want to awful. Pay to it. Okay, so now my question is, now that you know all of this, will you chance it? You order pizza tonight, it's on the counter tomorrow morning, are you going to chance it? I don't do it the next day. I mean, you know. We'll see. Up to okay. five hours. <laughs> but it, he said two. He said two. <laughs> so you're still chancing it. Up to five. It. Okay, so the war, if, if you're still going to do it, if you're still going to, you know, take that chance, the worst thing to do is eat it at room temperature. He says at least reheating it, yes. getting it as hot as you can uh -huh. could potentially kill the bacteria on there. That's not to say that that's not going to make you sick, but that's at least your better of the bad yeah. options. Well, it's like if you just put it in the fridge ASAP, then you got a shot at least at yeah. pulling it down yeah. That's what you want to do. Safely later, exactly. But, yeah, it's that Pop it in the toaster oven. That kills everything. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's piping hot. I see oh, why they had man. me do this report. Yeah. Rachel. <laughs> Rachel's like, you're fine. That would work the other way. <laughs> Makes you stronger.